Friday currently. Uh, I'm not going to say the date because I don't remember. <laughs> Unless I'm looking at it, I yeah, I have no idea. So I have a little something to, to tell you guys. Uh, so I got up a little earlier than I wanted to. So I just couldn't get back to sleep. And then uh, I had my hair appointment at 10. So... Remember how I told you guys earlier in the week that I had something planned? That I had a surprise? Well, it's still, it's still happening. It's on Saturday. The reason why I couldn't say anything more is because Jared, who watches these, is the one getting surprised. So, tomorrow I'm actually headed out to see him. So I have like a two and a half hour flight to go see him and I've been lying my butt off to try to make it a surprise because we had originally planned that I was coming on Saturday and I you know already called his mom and asked her if it was okay and then I was like you know what no I want to surprise Jared because I was talking to him while I was talking to his mom and then uh, I was like okay I still need to talk to Phil my boss so then I called, or I texted Jared's mom, and I said, Hey, don't say anything to Jared. I'm going to tell him that my boss is working so I can't come, but I can. I just want to surprise him. So, she's in on it. So, I, I talked to my boss, and he said it was alright, because, you know, he was going to be here. Now he's not, but, you know, we, we worked something out. But, uh... So I went back to Jared, and I was just like, you know, Phil, Phil has to leave, you know, he, he, he let, he's leaving tomorrow night. Like, oh my god, like last minute, he's putting this on me. I just like went on about how angry I was, and I was like, you know, I never get to do trips when I want, because there's always something that he's doing, blah, 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 and I just went, went off. So... Yeah, and then I, I slipped and I said I had a surprise for you guys on Saturday in one of the vlogs. And Jerry went and told his brothers, which his mom ended up calling me and telling me about this, and saying, uh, I think Kirsten's coming on Saturday. After I told him I wasn't. So, I had to come up with some tricky lying ways to make up for that. So, I had to say, you know, I had to figure out what was I doing on Saturday to make it, you know, to make it one, cover up that I'm on a flight, and then I won't be able to text him. Two, be up that early, so I'll be able to go to sleep earlier, because he, you know, he'll be like, man, we're going to bed really early, because we usually go to bed, you know, on a normal night around, like, 11.30ish. And lately, I'm going to bed at 1. It's killing me. So I, I told him, you know, hey... You know, and then again, I was also like, oh my gosh, so I have to take the kids really freaking early down to their grandparents' house because, you know, his grandpa wants to see them, and yada yada yada, spring break. So I came up with that, and then I still felt like Jared was a little suspicious, so the other night, I, I came, like, once every three days, I'd be like, Man, I just really miss you. And then I'd start tearing up because I do miss him. I, I miss him a lot. It's been a little while since we've seen each other. So I was like tearing up a little bit. And I was like, I miss you so much. I'm so like, I'm just so angry that, you know, we could have seen each other on Saturday. You know, that it would be like literally a day and a half and I'd be there. And, uh, and then I was, you know, sitting there tearing up. And then I cover my face when I, you know, I get really upset. So that was easy to do. So last night, I think I really, like, made it to where he was like, okay, there's no way she's coming. So, and I'm allowed to say this on today's vlog because it's not going to be uploaded until tomorrow while he's at work. So, yeah. <laughs> so my hairstylist appointment is in an hour. So I think I might play a couple video games. It's not like I need to do my hair. And I don't know if I'm going to do my makeup or not. We'll see. But yeah. Just wanted to let you guys know uh, what my big surprise was. So tomorrow I leave really early in the morning. So yeah, and there's so many people that are in on it. My mom's in on it, his mom, my grandparents, like everybody in this house. It's just, it's ridiculous. 
like the few people, I had to tell someone to not tell him because I, I have, I like, I always have to tell someone a big surprise. That's why I always ruin them. So hopefully I can surprise him. Hopefully I got him. I hope I did. <laughs> so yeah, I'll talk to you guys uh, right before I go to my hairstylist appointment. better um just kept having like anxiety attacks panic attacks and stuff i love the color of my hair it's just the shape it's in which is really like i don't know from here down it just feels like straw so usually when i have my ugh, usually when i have my straight hair it feels really nice and you know smooth so this is not feeling like that and i feel like she should have done my brows too but whatever so this is what it looks like. So big difference. Um, you go ahead and start packing for tomorrow. Uh, Jared went ahead and went to bed, and then I need to take a bubble bath because I am really exhausted. So <laughs> um, I just installed the uh, door handle by myself. So that was pretty cool. You learn something new every day. So yeah. Uh, I guess I'll uh, show you guys what I'm packing, so. <laughs> so I figured I'd uh, show you what I'm packing to Jared's house. Uh, it's currently Friday night, it's like 10.30. Jared went ahead and went to bed, which is good because I can't let him see me doing this. So I already had my bath. Um, basically I just need to pack this stuff, I need to pack my makeup, and then I'm all ready because uh, I'm just gonna leave out foundation, and eyeliner and mascara because nobody needs to look their Sunday's best on the airplane and I still he gets so I get there at 11 and he gets off at 5 so that should give me well more than enough time so yeah I'm gonna get this all packed in there and then um, pack my makeup up and my hair tools and my hair stuff and then I'm gonna go downstairs and get some OJ OJ to drink I just need something other than water right now. And then, uh, yeah. So, I guess I can show you what I'm bringing. I'm bringing a couple pairs of socks. The socks. I love my socks. I wear socks every single day. So I'm push those in. And I got this uh, Jessica Simpson uh, suitcase from TJ Maxx. Ross. I got it from Ross. And this one right here is $64.99. So I got that, and then I have a matching uh, carry-on. And then we got some underwear. I got one for every day that I'm there, if I can find it all. Got some bras, a sports bra, because I am going to work out while I'm there. Because he does, he's actually going to be working a lot, because he didn't know I was coming, so. Boo on me, but I did want to surprise him, and he usually works anyways. <laughs> Let's get that tucked in. Alright, bras are in, and let's get underwear in there. You know I had to bring my cute underwear. So, oh, it's not socks I'm bringing. Uh, I got tights and leggings, just in case. If it gets too cold, I'm um, not bringing this stuff. That's another pair of underwear. I think that's it on the underwear train. Get that zipped up. Oh, okay. So then I'm bringing a comfy sweater to wear on the plane 
So that will go on my carry-on. This is the shirt I'm wearing tomorrow morning with a pair of leggings. Gotta rep my Minnie Mouse. So I'll put that over there. Um, I'm bringing this. This is like one of my favorite shirts of all time. I got from Forever 21 years ago. Um, flip it inside out. The right side out. <laughs> so it's like gold. Sparkled. Like a blue. Just nice shirt. And it's just, it's really pretty in it. Compliments my shape. So we're bringing that. I need some cover up stuff because it is going to be a little cold up there. So I got this kind of. This is really cheap. I, uh, I got it at Roses. I don't know if you guys ever heard that store, but it's a, just a nice cover up. And it's got these like lace panels that go down the side of the arms. So something nice. Got another Nutter. <laughs> Nutter Butter. Got another cover up. That's one of my favorites. Got a nice like cardigan that has a lace detail on the back that I got from Forever 21, I want to say. I cut out the tag, so. <laughs> I got some spring shirts that I can, you know, layer. This is one of my favorites. I got this little vest that goes with the little uh, outfit I have that I'm bringing. I got it's just a blue gray long sleeve shirt that is a v-neck. I have this springy shirt. And then, sorry my stomach's hurting. Oh, it's not been a good day for me today. Oh, just so stressful. I can't tell you guys how many times I've cried today. Like, let's be, let's be real. Let's be honest. I did not have a good day. Uh, this is a top I got from Kohl's. It's just nice and flowy that I can wear underneath a cardigan. Got some more tights I need to put in there. Uh, this is a blue top that I got from Kohl's or Target or somewhere. <laughs> it's just a nice flowy blue chop, top. Blue trop. I cannot speak right now. I'm so tired. Got another springy kind of shirt. Just roses on it. Got this from like Rue 21. Yeah. Just nice. And then it's solid in the back. Just something that I can layer. I also got this shirt. If I'm repping my mini, I gotta rep my Mickey too. I figured maybe Jared might wear it and we can be matching cute. So. Oh, I got that. Um, this is the only dress I'm bringing. Because I don't know if we're ever going to leave the house. So it's just a nice scoop neck. It's pleated on the top, and then it just goes nice long. It's a maxi dress. And then it has this nice, like, color blocking on the bottom. It's just really pretty. Got that in there. And then this is my last shirt I'm bringing. It's just a black, kind of, like, toga-looking, you know, sheer shirt with a gold band on the bottom. Got that. And then for pajamas, I'm bringing this nice little sleep, sh sleep set that I got from uh, Marshall's. So it's just a nice see-through black and gray. And then it comes with some nice little sleep shorts. It's really nice and soft. And then I'm bringing this little like dress, like night shirt. Sleep, love, dream. And then bringing this, of course, when I wake up and <laughs> get out of it. And then pants. Pantalones. I'm bringing my favorite leggings that I wear like every single day. I should buy more of those. I'm bringing these workout pants that you guys have already seen me wear. I got these actually at Walmart. They're a Via. They're really nice. I just love, I love blue, as you can tell. <laughs> those. I have these workout pants that you guys have seen a million times. I got these at TJ Maxx. That's like the best place to get workout stuff, TJ Maxx, I swear. Got those. I have, let's see, just some nice, uh, like, leggings that I can put under, you know, my dresses or something. You know, it's, if it's too hot down, or if it's too cold down there. Uh, another pair of leggings. Those in there, like workout pants. Uh, my short Under Armour, these are actually kids. 
They fit me. I just have to cover my butt because they're a little see-through. Oh my gosh, these are my favorite shorts. I'm just kind of mad because my legs chafed together and kind of ruined the middle part. These are from Lauren Conrad, and they're so cute. Like, they're scalloped at the bottom, and they're nice, like, burgundy color. It's so cute. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I love burgundy colors. <laughs> Blue and burgundy. Oops, this one also has burgundy in it. It's just a nice springy kind of skirt. I'm pushing my clothes to one side so I can put my hair and makeup stuff. And then my favorite pair of jeans, which currently these fit me the best. They're mid-rise skinny, and they're a size 10, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and they're from uh, Levi's. I got these at Kohl's. So yeah, these are my favorite dream, jeans. So put those in there. And then I got Jared some uh, early like birthday presents. I got him a little pug mug. It's even got a little butt tail thingy. Let's put that in there. And then I got him and his dad because they, they're obsessed with Sasquatch. I found these on sale and I was like, I have to get these. <laughs> so they're like furry little uh, beef jerky valentines. I thought those were so funny. And then these shoes I'm bringing. Let's throw them over. So I'm bringing my workout shoes. So my tennis shoes, these are the New Balance 550 V3. And I wear a size da, 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 7 in these. Women's 7. And then I have, my brother actually got me, he got me these and he got fired for it. Isn't that stupid? He bought these with his own money, which I paid him back. And he got fired from Dick's Sporting Goods. How stupid is that? So I make sure that I appreciate these flip flops. I feel so bad. He was unemployed for the longest time after that. So I feel really bad. <laughs> but these are the re flip flops. They're like the yoga bottoms and they're super comfy. So I have one pair and then I got these ones. These were my first pair from Reef, the yoga bottoms. These were like the original. I got these when I worked at the shoe store. And of course they have the blue with a little bit of coral. And then, if I want to dress up a little bit, I have these, which are actually kids' shoes. So I wear a size 4 in kids, 4 or 5. And these are from Nina. They're the Nina wedges. I wish I bought the neutral color of these because sometimes I just want it to be all brown. But, you know, you get what you get. So, yeah. Now i got to pack up my, uh, my makeup and my hair stuff. So... See you guys later. All right, guys, let's pack my makeup bag. So when I worked at Bath and Body Works, I actually bought um, this nice, uh, just compact thing, which I need to clean out the rest of the stuff that I used last time. So it's just some travel shampoo and makeup, which I'm actually just gonna bring my full size bottles and I'm just gonna put it in a fat gallon baggie. So let's just put that out. Oh my nose is running. this makeup mist set I'll bring it up and I like that blush so we'll keep that in there what is in here bobby pins and stuff all right let's see keep no 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 <laughs> maybe I'll go through that uh, drawer one day not today though all right No sense of bringing it, right? Alright. And that too. Makeup is way too hard for me. So let's put that in there. Um, put this in there. Alright, so let's start off with face stuff. This is all my foundation and blush and bronzer and anything that really goes on my face. So currently the foundation I've been going for is this one which is the Dream Fresh Maybelline BB. Um, and I use it in the shade Light Sheer Tint. And then I also like to mix it with a little bit of the Matte Poreless Plus uh, Fit Me from Maybelline as well. So I like to mix those together. And that one's in the shade 110, which is porcelain. 
white, white as white can be. And then I like the, I've been using the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder. So I've been using that. that. Um, the blush I'm gonna bring is from Bare Minerals and it is the Daydream shade. And then I also want to bring something a little darker. And yeah, we'll do the Milani Baked Blush. And this is in the color 04 Terra Soul. So bring that. And then for concealer, I've been using the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. I'm not sure what color that's in. And I think that's all from the face that I need. Let's go put that. Eh, I guess I can bring this. I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's the Liquid Gossamer Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. It's like a. Um, what the heck do you call that? It like gives you a little bit of a like shimmer on your cheeks. Highlighter. That's what it's called. Let's see if I can get this back in. There we go. This is my lips and eye stuff. So I'm going to need two things of mascara because I've been switching between these two. Actually, we'll do three because this one's nice on my bottom lashes. So I'm bringing Telescopic Mascara from L'Oreal Paris. My mom is obsessed with that one. I'm also bringing L'Oreal Paris Double Extend and uh, Lorac Pro Mascara the color black. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to bring the eyeliner pencil Express Wine 01 Coastal Scents. I have no idea. I got that in my empty bag. And then I'll bring the Line Stiletto from Maybelline. A lot of stuff is Maybelline. I'm just not realizing this. And I'll also bring, which isn't closed all the way, a Llama Mask thing I got in my empty bag. So I'm like that. And we'll also bring my eyeshadow primer from Justice Girl. And I think that's it for. Oh, I'm also going to bring this. Uh, it's for Smart Brow, but it's really good at taking eye makeup off, so I'm going to bring that. And then for lips, I'm going to bring the Read My Lips from Tweez, I think. And this is in the shade Killing Me Softly. It's really, really bright and fun for spring. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really bright. It's a nice fun color. Bring that one. And bring the ColourPop Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon. And the color Coral Crush. And then I think that's all I want to bring. I guess I can bring the new one. I have the Lip Lacura in Morocco. That. I think that's all I want to bring for lips. Right. Next dry is eyeshadow. So my favorite palette I've been using every single day is the Lorac Pro. I think this is the first one. This is the second one. Lorac Pro number two. This came with my mascara, so I was really happy about that. We'll bring the Madanakdur Beauty eyeshadow in the color Fantasy, I believe. Uh, let's bring one more palette. Let's bring something that has a little more pop of color. So I guess we'll bring, I guess we'll bring the Sephora palette. Um, Natural Instincts. It's got some blues in it, so we'll bring that one. And let's see, do I want to bring, I'll bring one mask. This is the Bior for your poor self-heating one minute mask. I'll bring one of those. I'll bring one of my nose strips from Bior as well. The charcoal nose strips. And let's see. I'll bring my moisturizer from Simple. I think that's it for that. And let's bring some brushes, because we need some brushes. Foundation from Elf, um, powder brush, uh, blush. I'll bring out a couple eyeshadow brushes, a couple sponges. 
my beauty blender, and a couple angle brushes because we have to do our brows. I think that's it. Let's see. Let me make sure I have at least two. All right. And hair tweezers because Lord knows we all know we need those. And a concealer brush. All right. I think I'm done. <laughs> and a sharpener because I brought a eyeshadow brush. So that is it for makeup. Now on the hair. Which there's more stuff for hair. Alright. Basically for hair I'm just bringing my straightener, uh, curling iron, uh, round brush, blow dryer, and uh, just some stuff to put in my hair. Like a leave-in conditioner because I'm definitely going to need that after this catastrophe. So yeah, that's all I'm really going to need. So uh, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go grab some OJ because I'm really thirsty and my mouth's like, ugh. So, and then I'm going to brush my teeth and get ready for bed because I need to go to bed. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if I was an emotional wreck today. It was just, it's life. <laughs> That's what, you know, that's an insight into what it's like to live with anxiety and depression. When things get to you, they just, 